Africa has got the youngest population profile of all the, the regions of the world. My own country has got the youngest population profile of all the countries. Imagine if we had an education system that unleashed the genius in the 60% of young people who are below the age of 35. We would be an unbeatable country with a thriving competitive economy with an ability to play to our strengths as a diverse nation with very interesting cultural heritage. We'll be able to express that in a way that no one else can. We don't need reform, we need transformation. Changing the mindsets of government, of the private sector, of parents, teachers and learners to embrace a learning process which is setting the foundations for lifelong learning. Also setting the foundations for reaching for the skies. When we do that, it doesn't matter how poor a country is, how rich it is, you then are able to unleash the talent in those young people. I speak as someone whose mind was changed as a young activist. We used to be called non-whites, non-Europeans. And we then woke up to the fact that to be accepting of being non-something is to diminish yourself. God created you not as a non-something, but as a very special creature. And the day we woke up and said, we are black, we are proud, nothing could stop us. The first thing is that a government that doesn't know how to change a non-functioning education system should not be in government because it is failing in its primary mission, which is failing to protect the rights of children to quality education. In South Africa, we have all the resources that we need, both in terms of models of success in the private sector, in civil society, but also in well-functioning public schools. So the issue is that of political will, and that becomes the responsibility of citizens to change a government that fails in that primary role. And then you have to look to mobilizing the society around the importance of the transformation process. The most important player in that mindset change is the teacher. So the entry point is getting teachers to believe in themselves and to believe in the ability of children to be these geniuses that they were created to be. If you can't have teachers who are enablers of this process of the discovery of the person inside us, you are not going to be able to win.